29 days out from the competition today was my lower session so secondary lower session so it consists of just accessories of the legs and also my tertiary squat movement and my secondary deadlift movement so sick and tired of seeing my face <laughs> well oh well uh, made no sense but anyways let's get to this i'm going to explain today was a really good session i felt fatigued in the morning maybe because i had the vaccine i felt really like sluggish in the morning but we got the session done feel amazing my legs are dead my forehead sweating anyways let's go and talk about the clips yes lads what are you telling me anyways so today's leg day is my secondary lower session so it's going to be accessory leg work and i got my tertiary squat movement and my secondary deadlift movement so on the first clip as you can see i'm starting off with adductions obviously my hips are not my hips don't lie as shakira says so what i'm doing is i'm trying to go with my active range of motion so how much my hips can tolerate i'm starting off with this just to warm up the hip area just to get that you know blood flow to the legs so that's what i'm doing I do two sets so first set I did um 52 kg for 16 reps and then I dropped the weight down to I think it was 42 for 16 with a rest pause of five reps so the rest pause is just a 15 second break just to get more extra effective reps in obviously I always say just to work the smaller muscle parts like adduct like your inner thigh and outer thigh so like your glute medius and your adductor so yeah so obviously in the clip as you can see, I'm going slowly on the eccentric and I'm also going to pause slightly on the concentric on the top. So I start off with them and then my hips feel nice. So moving on to the second exercise, I'm doing lying hamstring curls. So obviously, I'm doing two sets between 1 to 10. And the first set, I'm just going all out, so I'm not really holding at any range. I'm trying to use as much weight as possible with good form. So I did 59 kg for 9 reps on the first set. And then the second set, I dropped the weight down and did, I think it was 11 reps or 12 reps. But with holding at the shortened range for at least 1 to 2 second count. But you'll see that. This is the first set. Now you may be wondering, why am I doing hamstring curls before my squats? Well, as you asked clearly, the reason that I am doing that is because just to warm up the knee area and think about this I've heard this from a video from a professor professor and um, it, if you do hamstring curls at the end of a session you're probably not gonna get more out of it because obviously you'll be fatigued already from the squats and all your compound movements so if you do hamstring curls before your main compounds it won't affect your squats as much because obviously it's, it's not gonna when you do squats you don't really use your hamstring that much you're not gonna fucking you're not gonna use your contracting and everything like that so now i am doing the second set so i'm holding at the top this also just warms i'm just getting more effective but that's what i have to do at the beginning of the session so yeah that's basically it as you can see this is a killer though and as you can see i'm resetting at the bottom every time to standardize the reps so i'm hitting i'm resetting the machine so i know i'm always hitting to depth and every rep is the same and i'm also making the pad just touch my bum or brush my butt Sounds a bit weird, but you know what? It's 2021. So that's what we're doing. And yeah, this is a killer. Or oh, every exercise is a killer. So I'm using, I'm pulling myself on the handles just to make sure I'm getting as much stability from the machine. So yeah, that's that. Now we're going to move on to the third exercise. So my main compound. So this is my tertiary squat movement. I am going to be doing high bar pose squats it's kind of a pose some reps i'm posing it but i'm not really like bouncing up from the bottom straight away i like just to pause for a bit first set i did 120 for seven reps so last week i did 120 for six so this is a one rep improvement remember today i did feel fatigued a bit at the morning so i, did, I wasn't really sure i was going to increase the weight but i just wanted to make sure i get my reps up to eight reps so this is high bar squats and I'm going as deep to the floor as possible. That's what makes it hard. There's so much range of motion. So more knee flexion, more quad stimulus. So as you're going to see here. Bracing onto the belt. So I'm going to go down one. Hold, push up. Good. Breathe in. Down. Push up. So I'm doing seven reps of that. It's like cardio for me. Because I run out of breath. But... It's just life and 
This leg is obviously is a big body part. I've mentioned this in my previous video, so that's why I'm doing that. So after high bar squats, I did a second set with 102.5 kg for 10 reps just to get more volume and just use a lighter load. Didn't record that because I don't want to bore you a lot, but essentially it's the same thing I'm doing right now, which is with a second set and lower weight. So after this, I moved on to my other compound movement, which was the the stiff leg deadlifts, where I managed to do a new PR for 150 kg for eight reps for the first set. So in lockdown, I did 148 kg for five for eight reps, but this was more cleaner. Obviously, I'm not using any belt. I'm just using wrist wraps just for the grip. So that's what I'm doing. So you'll see me. I'm trying to explode up as possible using my glutes as much. Obviously, that's what stiff deadlifts are. So one, explode up. Two, three. As you can see, I'm kind of slamming the. I'm just letting go at tension at the top for the weights to drop down because I don't want to really get any eccentric work. Just resetting for and yeah, etc. This is really good. I'm really happy with this variation because this will challenge my glute and my lockout. I don't really feel my lower back on this that much though, which is probably good. I, don't, I have never ever injured my lower back, which I am blessed, but it is what it is. So now onto my other accessory now, leg extension. So realistically, if I was doing bodybuilding only, I'd do this at the start because it's the only movement where you can shorten, like fully sh get the shorter range of the quad. So you do this before like compounds just to fully rinse it. But obviously I want to make sure my squats doesn't get interfered as much. That's why I do this last. So I think uh, this whole machine I'm going to rinse. I think I did 80 something kg. 86 or something, but yeah. First set, I'm, I'm, first, both sets are really the same. I'm just pausing at the top for a while as well. I'm using wrist wraps to hold onto the leg extension just to make sure I'm firmly secure and being one with the machine. I'm pulling myself, so yeah. Stability is a really big, important part. If you want to get most out of your training, you want to make sure every variable is on point. So that's that. And then afterwards, onto my final two accessory movements. My other accessory movement was the standing calf, so I did BFR, which stands for blood flow restriction. So I basically, essentially what I do is I wrap wrist wraps around my calf muscle and just to restrict the blood flow. Obviously, I'm not going to amputate my leg, but yeah, just get some more burn. So I, I rest between 30 seconds. I did one, two sets of 15-ish, 10 to 15-ish, standing with 80 kg on each, with 80 kg altogether. Don't know what the machine's resistance is, but it removed improvement from last week. And then I finished up with some abductions, even though I try my best because my hips don't work. And yeah, that's the video, so thank you for watching everyone. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, do all that bullcrap. And I'll see you on tomorrow's upper body session. So, yeah.